I've spoken a lot about local MCB servers, the ones that only run on your computer. But in this video, we're gonna talk about remote MCB servers that work both on your computer, but also on clients that don't support local MCP, like the cloud app on your phone, for example. And as more AI providers adopt MCP, remote is becoming the default implementation. There are a lot of them. So I'm gonna show you which ones I use daily to enhance my productivity. These are the ones I think you should know about to be more efficient and not waste time on the ones that aren't yet production ready. And this is almost completely a different list from the ones I mentioned in my top 13 video, those were primarily local servers that I use in development environments. But today's focus are the ones you could use both on your computer, but also when you're out and about. And the reason I prefer local MCB servers is they have way more visibility. You can vet them and you can have a bit more control over them. But with remote MCB servers, you don't always know where the data is flowing. And as much as I love open source and the community made MCB servers, because we're talking about remote MCB servers that are running on someone else's infrastructure, I'm only covering official company made remote MCB servers. Because if it's coming directly from the tool you're already using, whether it's Monday, Cloudflare, Gmail, or Linear, they have less of an incentive to slip anything shady into the code, and they have more of an incentive to ship a quality product, or so you would think. So in the video, we're gonna use Cloud on the Web, which can only use remote MCB servers. So if you click down to the tools, you'll see some of the MCB servers I've installed. Now, if you go to the Add Connectors page, you can see all the remote MCPs that Anthropic suggests connecting to Claude, but there are more official ones that don't appear on this list. The first one we're gonna start with is Canva. And I was really excited about this one because I use Canva all the time for thumbnails on my YouTube, for presentations, for basic design elements. It's easy, it's efficient. And I figured the combination of Claude plus MCP plus Canva would be amazing. But unfortunately, not only does it ignore directions, it apparently can't even look at your past projects or the visual input you give it through Claude. For example, I tried to have it create a thumbnail based on my previous thumbnails that look like this, which I created in Canva and they're all stored there, but I also gave it an image. And this is what I came up with. And this looks nothing like my other thumbnails. So I know there's a lot of hype about the Canva MCP. I really hope they figure it out, but right now I would say avoid it. Next up, the official Notion MCP. And I've covered the Notion MCP in several other videos. So I was really excited when Notion released their official remote MCP, meaning I can use it for my phone as well. And when it works, it works great. But here's the thing. Sometimes it just disconnects. And this is a known bug. You'll be in a conversation and it's connected and then it'll just tell you, oh, I don't have Notion tools. And you'll have to remind it or quit Claude and go back in. So. This is a great remote MCP server when it works. I really hope that Notion fixes it soon. Okay, so now let's talk about remote MCP servers with great implementations, the ones I'm using on a daily basis. Starting with the web MCP from Bright Data, who's actually a sponsor of this video. And I've already done a deep dive on Bright Data and how powerful it is. And I'll link to that video above. And even though most frontier LLMs have web search built in by now, they are all extremely limited. They usually can't do meaningful web search that scratches beneath the surface. Whereas the web MCP is on a complete other level. It could touch anything public on the internet. It could bypass captchas. It's able to scrape sites as markdown and HTML. It comes with 50 plus tools. It could touch Reddit, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn, Crunchbase, all of these things without breaking a sweat. And it also has its own scraping browser. So when I send it off to search for something, it comes back with good detailed results. Not something from a headline, not something hallucinated, actual quality data. So it's the only web search tool I use right now, especially with Claude and Claude Code and Cursor. And when I first started using it, they only had a local MCP server. So I would wait to get home or I'd log into my computer from my phone and navigate with a small screen. It was really annoying and not so efficient. But recently, Bright Data added a remote version of the web MCP with all of its tools, meaning you could use it anywhere, like on your phone, which means you could do a lot of cool things. I'm gonna show it to you here on the web, but you could obviously do it on your phone. And some of my favorite things are, you can compare prices with Amazon, with Walmart, with Best Buy. So when you're out shopping, you could actually compare and find the best prices instead of going to each website. The other day, Kevin Wild from OpenAI announced on Twitter that they're welcoming Ashley Alexander to OpenAI to lead the product for health. And this is something that's close to me. I care a lot about the intersection of AI and health, and I wanna see how that moves forward in a safe way. So I wanted to look up Ashley Alexander, but when I looked her up on LinkedIn, I couldn't find her. And I saw that Kevin said that they used to work together at Instagram and I wasn't at home. I only had my phone. So what I ended up doing was go into Claude. And I'll show you the conversation here. I said, use the web MCP to help me find the LinkedIn profile of Ashley Alexander. All I know about Ashley is she used to work at Instagram or Meta with Kevin from OpenAI. And you can see you sort of use the web MCP bright data tools, search engine, scrape as markdown, search engine. Then it uses its LinkedIn tool and eventually I found her profile. When I ran this the other day, she wasn't yet LinkedIn official at OpenAI, she was still Instagram, but it was really cool that I was able to send Claude off and find that for me. And you could just imagine the unlimited use cases you can use with the power of bright data on your phone with Claude when you're not at home. And I actually have a pretty crazy story from the other night. And the context is I get a lot of different emails for sponsorships, for partnerships, for consulting, 
And generally what I do to filter out the signal versus noise is I put in the relevant details to Claude, which would then send it to Bright Data, and it would use LinkedIn and Crunchbase, and it would create news articles, but I could only do it from home. So the greater context is I was about to sign an exclusivity deal, and I got an email from one of their competitors with a product I liked more, but it seemed too good to be true, and I wanted to look into it. What I would usually do is I'd go to my computer and do all the research, and I wasn't going to be back to my computer till the next day. So then it dawned on me, I already have all these things connected. So I told the cloud, look at my Gmail connector, find the email, get all the details from it, and then use Bright Data to search the company on LinkedIn, on Crunchbase, look at the person that sent me the email, look at the other people mentioned in the emails, do all this research and tell me if this is a legit deal. And while I was out on my phone, because I had these remote MCB servers, it was able to go to Gmail, get the details, go to Bright Data and use all their specific tools to help me understand what was actually going on. It was a really awesome use case. It was so cool. I was able to make a decision there on the spot. So that's the power of MCP, being able to connect all these tools to your LLMs. And by the way, Bright Data has changed their pricing. They now have a very generous free tier. I believe it's 5,000 credits per month, which gives you access to their basic web search and their web tools. They also separate it into basic mode and pro mode. When you turn on pro mode, you get access to all the other 57 tools. And they're reason this is good news is because the more MCP tools you have turned on, the more it fills up your context. You only want to turn on the tools that you need. So we're back on the Bright Data's MCP GitHub page. To use the remote MCP, you just need this link. Then you go into Claude, Add Connectors. Then you click Add a Custom One. Then you scroll down to the bottom and you press Add Custom Connector and you just put in that URL. Now, what you need to do is get your API token. When you make an account, they send it to you as an email. And also once you have an account, you can just go into MCP, you press hosted and you get your API key here. If you wanna enable pro mode for all the other tools, you just add question mark pro equals one at the end of that URL. And if you click the link in the description, you'll get a bunch of extra credits because you came through me. But I'm willing to bet the free tier will cover you anyways. The next remote MCP server I use daily is the Linear MCP. Linear is a product management tool. And what I love about Linear and its MCP is it works very well with all the agentic coding tools. So let me explain to you my workflow with Linear. I will use dictation to talk about a bug or a feature or a product that I want to build. And Claude will then add it to my linear board, either as backlog or as in to-do or whatever status it's in. And it will add all the relevant details. And then I have Claude code or cursor look at my linear board and get all the context. Something else I started doing is also adding the task list that Claude code creates, for example, to a linear issue so that if I run out of context or I have to pick it up somewhere else, it knows more or less where we left off. And then when I'm working on these issues, I'll have whatever agentic development tool, write comments, add more context. So basically we're keeping track of the progress and everything we learned about these issues so that wherever I'm working, it's all in sync and it makes it much more efficient. And my favorite thing to do now is file a bug with Linear and then have Claude or Cursor research that bug or feature with the web MCP. So it all works together and eliminates all these manual processes I was doing on my own. And if you're trying to build anything meaningful and save yourself a lot of time in the long run, I definitely suggest using a product management tool. There's a few other remote MCPs that I use that I wanna mention, but not get into too much detail. Built-in Google tools are really good. Despite not being able to send messages on your behalf, that actually may be a feature in the end of the day. Fireflies is a great one. Fireflies is a call recording tool that you can integrate with Zoom and Google Meet. What's really cool about it is I could have Claude look into my past conversations that Fireflies recorded and give me specific details. And just being able to get that really quickly and add that context really quickly is super powerful. I use Netlify for web deployment, and I've also found the Wix MCP to be very stable. There are more remote MCPs being added every day, but these are the ones that I've tested and use and think you should know about. And I'll drop a link to the web MCP by Bright Data in the description below. I'll stand my ground in saying giving AI powerful access to the web is one of the most important tools we can give AI in the moment. And Bright Data is the easiest and best way of doing that. So I definitely suggest checking them out. So let me know in the comments if you have any feedback or there are other remote MCP servers that I should try. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.